Kevin Wolf is awarded by Liverpool Career Mode for FIFA 21. And this will be not only the final episode of this career mode, but it will also be the final episode of this Journeyman career mode. And I should also say that this will, this is probably going to be my, my final full-length FIFA episode on my channel for the remainder of 2023. Because if I do decide to do a FIFA 22 Journeyman career mode, that won't be until the beginning of 2024. Because on my channel, I do want to focus on Mario and possibly Go Vacation. I'm thinking about bringing that series back. But, um, yeah, this will be the final full-length FIFA episode of this calendar year. Hope you guys are looking forward to this. We are facing off against PSG here in the Champions League final. But before we do that, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. And I'm not sure if you noticed at the bottom of the screen, but Darwin Nunez is tied for the, the tournament lead with six goals among a whole plethora of players. But, um, first of all, we're not playing in the rain. Looks like we've got uh, Cavallo, Adeyemi, Mbappe, St Calvin Stings. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Van de Beek, Goretzka, Zinchenko, Marquinhos, Alaba, Tuia, whoever that is, and Juan Maruli. So, um, PSG must have bought Zinchenko from Juventus. I'm going to have PSG wear white. Clear skies, even though it's nighttime. But yeah, rather interesting PSG side as well as formation, 4-2-4, four, four. that's... A very attack-minded formation. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. We have some super subs. This is not our strongest starting lineup, but I do have super subs just in case we need them. But my main goal was to focus on players that play for Liverpool in real life. And I also part brought in Partey just because he was with me from the very beginning of this journeyman career mode. I figured I'll give him the start this time. And of course, Canate partnering alongside... Van Dyke, like he does in Moulin for Liverpool. And Darwin Nunez, a featured player here, he is starting head of Gabriel Jesus. Despite Jesus scoring four goals in the last match against Manchester City in the FA Cup, I'm going to give Nunez a start because, for those of you who remember, remember my Almeria career mode, I wanted him to be my main guy in that career mode, and it didn't quite pan out that way. He was my main guy in Juventus, though he was below an 85 rating when we got to the Champions League final. I thought about buying him in my Bayern uh career mode, but I stuck with Milik as a backup instead, because I, I had already got Lukaku as my starting striker, and now we got Darwin Nunez starting here for Liverpool, here against PSG. And Darwin Nunez is the main guy for Liverpool in real life up front, so... You see how both teams got here? You can see that both of us have had, you could say that we had, well, outside of all Maria, we had a pretty tough go. You could argue that PSG has had a tougher go than we than what we had. Marquinhos is the captain. He will be lifting the Champions League should they win it. Hopefully they don't. Oh, where's the hustle, guys? Guys, Diaz, why are you going... Not a good start. We are playing so sloppy right now. That's off. Wow. We are so sloppy so far in this game. I go to cross the ball with Diaz and he runs past the ball like a dope. Let's try this again. What is going on? Diaz, I swear to God, if you don't shape up, you're getting, you're getting subbed. Yeah. Got 
I, I, I can't take it. I can't. Diaz, you're shitting me off. I don't know where your head is at, but it's not in this final. Go take an early shower, you freaking dope. It's it. Guys! Harvey Elliott? The Wonder Kid? Scores our first Champions League goal. Which we're not even getting a proper celebration, which doesn't make me happy either. Don't know why I would want to celebrate considering how we're playing this freaking game. Yeah, we are struggling against this team. Okay, come on, come on. Hustle, 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 Perte. Can you score for me? Thomas Perte that was with us in our Armory, Armory which... Did they take away the camera celebration? Yeah, T Partey was with me in my first season in this journeyman career mode. That's too close! That was offside anyway. Our team is not performing at a level that I'm liking right now. Okay, Nunez! can't finish things. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone right now. I don't know what's going on with my team. Okay, that Captain Nunez. While the guy in the green convertible was moving his car, he misses an interesting goal by Darwin Nunez. And he is now leading the Champions League in goals. Okay, let's see who PSG have on their bench. Kalo Neves, Juan Bernat, Neymar, Silas, Angelino, Hakimi, Yusuf Demir. If I already had to make one substitution, I have to be very careful who I want to take off from here on out. Luis Diaz was being an absolute numpty out in that left-hand side. This is going to be 3-1. Yep. You cannot give PSG that kind of space in order to make something happen. You can't. Shobashai, good pass! Okay, so you can move forward. Okay, Nunez. Chiesa. Ah, oh, that was wasted, guys. <sighs> Don't plan on any making any substitutions right now. Let's see if we can get something going here in the second half. This could be the dumbest team I've ever managed in any career mode. Okay, this is going to be another goal. Maybe not. I, why did Mbappe not... That must have been a, a horrible first touch by Kylian Mbappe. Chiesa playing left back for reasons. Canate, come on. Virgil van Dijk. There we go. Come on, Elliot. I can't... This is going to be 3-2. Nope.
This team cannot get anything going on off. I don't understand why. Who is this? Gretzka just absolutely blew past everybody. Okay, I'm, I'm making some substitutions. Uh, Kanate is coming on for Upamecano. I hate to do it, but Shelby's line has been very quiet in this game. I'm going to put a jury on. I can honestly say right now, this is one of the worst Champions League finals I've ever played. And Bappe, he's going to make a three, isn't he? Yep. I need to jump in. We have just bottled a three-goal lead against PSG. Okay, let's see if we can... What a way to end the journey mode, a journeyman career mode, huh? Guys, move forward. Somebody, anybody. Nunez scores. Could potentially win the Champions League final for us here. But yeah, what a way to end this journeyman career mode by playing one of... Like I said... This is probably going to go down as one of the worst Champions League finals I've ever played. You know, I literally saw this team bottle a three-goal lead against PSG. Because our team does not know how to play offense. Hope we get the ball back. Harvey Elliott, can we get one more just to seal things off here? Chiesa? That's offside. No surprise there. He Guys! Thank you. I want more. Guys. Guys, 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 guys. This might be one of the worst teams I've played with. Keys! Is that onside? Yes, it is. And there we go. And that should kill off any hope that PSG have of getting back into this. But yeah, on paper, this is one of the strongest teams I've ever managed, but yet this is one of the worst teams I've ever played with. And this is one of the worst, if not the worst team I've seen in a sim. But there we go, Liverpool are European champions once again, and we have completed a historic quintuple. But my word, this team throughout... I'm just going to go out and say, I am not impressed with this Liverpool team. I'm not. A part of me wishes I would have gone to Manchester City instead. I think Manchester City would have been much better in the sim match than what this team was. Because I don't know what... I, I don't know what... I, I don't know. I wish... I, I tried twe tweaking tactics. I tried moving around personnel. I tried... I tried everything to get this... Try to get this team pop. It just can't. I just... The chemistry just is not there for whatever reason. I don't understand why. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I don't get what's going on with this team. I don't. But as you can see, Virgil van Dijk will be lifting the Champions League trophy for us. Julia Iglesias, our manager, this will be her final... Champions League because this will be the final, of course, this is the final episode of my journeyman career mode, or in this case, Journey Woman. And as Virgil van Dijk parades with a Champions League trophy, like I said earlier, this is the going to be my final full length. FIFA video of 2023. Now, I may have FIFA videos here and there 
Like, it's just going to be like title celebrations if I even feel like doing that for free. Because I still have my Newcastle career mode I'm doing off camera. I may end up making another, some videos based on that, but... In terms of ac actual FIFA episodes on my channel, there won't be any until I start my FIFA 22 Journeyman career mode, which will be at the beginning of January, so... For those of you that enjoy my FIFA content, you guys are going to have to wait a couple months in order for me to come up with something else, but... As you can see, Liverpool are your Champions League champions. I still can't believe we blew a three-goal lead. I can't. Don't even know who I even want me in the match to go to at this point. Because Diaz was absolutely worthless for me. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to give the man of the match to Darwin Nunez in this match. He did get two goals. He does have the highest rating of anybody on the pitch. But yeah, the guy that I... The player who I wanted to be the guy for me in Armory ends up being the guy for me here in my final episode of this journeyman career mode with Liverpool. A team he does play for in real life, so that is pretty cool. Okay, we do get Manager of the Month award. We're going to go ahead and train him for the op which I don't know why I'm doing this. This is my final episode, but train him right wait winger. It's going to be seven weeks. I am going to go ahead and promote him. That way I don't have to show the Youth Academy. Everybody's promoted from there. But even though I showed this at the end of the last episode, I'm going to show you guys the Premier League table one more time. Relegated sides are Watford, Bournemouth, and West Brom. Newcastle finished 12th. Ourselves, Man City, Spurs, and Arsenal finish in the top four. Kenny May Shield was won by us at the beginning of the season. FA Cup, I showed the tournament throughout that, throughout, throughout the last episode, so. Cabo Cup, won by us. Just flying through here. We beat Hall in round three. Weren't we in round two? Apparently we won. Okay, fourth round, we end up beating Birmingham City. Quarterfinals, we ousted Southampton. Semis, I knocked out Chelsea. And the finals, I knocked out Tottenham. Our former team, Bayern Munich, beating Sociedad to win the uh, UEFA Super Cup. Of course, Champions League was won by us. We ended up topping the group. Five wins and one draw. We knocked out Al Maria, our former side, in the round of 16. And we knocked out another former side in the quarterfinals with uh, Juventus. And we knocked out Real Madrid in the semis. Europa League was won by Napoli. They beat Tottenham 2-1. to one, So Tottenham remains trophyless. See, but Charleston ended up getting the golden boot this year. Jesus was seven behind him. Diaz with 14. Chobosly with 13. Speaking of Chobosly, he and Diaz end up with a top assist with 10 each. Very impressive. Jesus with nine. Clean sheets. Allison tied with Edison. Though Allison played less matches, so Allison does get the golden glove. Community Shield. FA Cup, Jesus was a leading goal scorer in that competition with seven, four scored in the final. Shelby Schlamp with the most assists. Karius 
with one clean sheet alongside Allison, so only two clean sheets in the FA Cup. Cowboy Cup, Boado was a leading goal scorer. Wilson was a leading goal scorer here with three. Most assists. Don't even see a Liverpool. Well, yeah, I do. Samikas with two assists. Nobody getting clean sheets in a, for us in a Cabo Cup. Champions League, Darwin Nunez finishing top goal scorer. Eight goals in seven matches. Diaz, despite only playing like three or four minutes in the Champions League final, finishes with five assists alongside Ansu Fadi. Bo playing in less matches. Allison with six clean sheets. Okay, let's... I'm just curious about this. Okay. And with that, now it's time to look, take a look at tables here real quick. The other leagues... First one I want to start off is the Champions League, who did get, end up getting promoted. West Ham and Nottingham Forest are going to be going up to the Premier League with Brentford, Swansea, Preston, and Huddersfield competing for the third spot. Relegated sides are Millwall, Sunderland, and Portsmouth. Millwall is a bit of a surprise considering how well they're playing in real life. Bundesliga, Bayern, Winning comfortably over a second place Wolfsburg to win the Bundesliga. And Juventus end up winning Serie A on 98 points. I know Milan was running away with it, but they must have had a monumental collapse and Juve must have just won out. So that's two of our former teams winning their leagues. Now, I highly doubt that, uh, that Almeria won La Liga. Which... They they are going to miss out on Champions League. They'll, they are going to play European football in the Europa League. So at least they'll be playing in Europe. So that makes me smile. But we take a look. Um, our budget. Just to take a look at our objectives. We are, we are going to complete this one. So I don't know why that's not checked off yet. All the other ones. We're good. We don't have a youth academy. We got we graduated everybody there, so we're just gonna take a look at transfers. If there's any particular you want to look at, you can just pause the video. We're going to take a look. Okay, let's see. And that is our starting 11 and our backup 11. So like I said, this is one of the best teams I've ever managed, but at the same time, this is probably, this is one of the worst teams I've actually managed, despite their ratings. I did not like how this team played for the most part, and I especially did not like how this team played in sim matches. They were absolutely horrific. But anyway, Jesus, 29-13 through 45 appearances. If there's anybody in particular that you want to look at, you can just go ahead and pause the video. Shelbushly, 19-17 through 42, which is impressive. Nunez, 18-2, coming off the bench, 41 appearances. Ajaria only growing by one despite getting 8-5 through 32. Virgil van Dijk's gone down two ratings. Stranagard up to 78. Seeing how some of my lone players have grown or have not grown. A 
Kamara with only three assists. I mean, I say only. He's a center back, but... 11 clean sheets he was able to keep. This Higgin guy looks like a, a, a career mode youth academy gem. And Allison, 25 clean sheets. We're going to look at player attributes. One last time, if there's anybody in particular you want to look at, you can just go ahead and pause the video. But yeah, this has been quite, as you can see, stupid young. We had him uh, during our time in All Maria. But yeah, this has been an excellent series. I'm very happy with how this journeyman career mode played out. And hopefully the next one I'll be doing in FIFA 23, 22 rather, will be just as exciting. And there's really no reason for me to do this, but just force of habit, mostly. Partey was with us during our time on All Maria. I have to say, I was not really impressed with Nicolo Barella. I, I just felt like he wasn't as much of a presence, not only in midfield, but moving forward is what I wanted him to be. Ajaria was good, but Shobashlai takes the cake. My favorite player of this p particular Liverpool career mode. I've been very happy with Shobashlai. Higashi, one of the players, one of the three Asian players that I was pretty much forced to sign, though I did, I mean, it is what it is. I still cannot believe how disappointing Luis Diaz was in the Champions League final. It's like nobody on this team could play offense in a sim match. I don't understand why. But there we go. That is Liverpool career mode done and dusted. That is our journeyman career mode done and dusted. Hope you guys have enjoyed my FIFA content throughout the year. And then I'll be beginning things next year with... Uh, um, my FIFA 22 journeyman career mode, I may also, I may, I may finish my other, my FIFA 17 career modes that I have. I have a West Brom career mode and a Juve career mode that I need to do in FIFA 17. I probably won't do that until January as well, but, um, as far as actual FIFA contents, other than having, like, title celebrations here and there, I'm not going to have any episodes of FIFA until next year. But, um, yeah, I'll resume things in January because November, December, I do want to concentrate on Mario and Go Vacation. So FIFA is going to be put to the side only for a couple months. Hopefully you guys will understand. But I had an awesome time with this particular uh, journey, man. I, it was, I didn't even think about it until after my... After my second season of All Maria, I'm like, you know what? Let me just see because I've never done it before, and I got to, I got to manage Noni in La Liga, but Serie A, uh, the Bundesliga, and the Premier League. So this was awesome to do, and I'm looking forward to doing it again in FIFA 22. And um, I still need to think of what team I want to start out with on FIFA 22, but I'll think of that when the time comes. Hopefully, you guys will be on will be with me with that particular journey, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this particular one as it comes to a close. So, But thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you guys again next time.